Hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Saturday morning. The sun is hitting my face, huh? I hope you're doing well. Today, what we're talking about uh, as we return on the fish segment of the of the of your YouTube channel, uh, I wanted to take another look at my lake, uh, a different perspective. Uh, truthfully, since um, Troy had passed away at the, I guess in uh, on July 19th. Uh, I've been taking uh, Kali, my, my, the one that you saw on my um, social media this past week, on her new bed. Um, we're talking about, we're talking now where it's the tail end of August 2023, if, if you're watching this 20 years from now or anything like that. But Kali, um, she needs to walk, she does. And uh, since I kind of strayed away from it uh, so while T was sick, I'm, I'm now I'm getting back into it and I'm really noticing the lake in different areas and different perspectives and I wanted to share with you um, the lake because I always use the lake and please use your lake your river your stream your pond as your learning tool for doing your freshwater aquarium again do not take water or plants or rocks or whatever from your lake or uh, or stream or pond that's a whole different ecosystem and um, you know there could be contaminants um, which I'll show you in a second uh, and it could be actually like poisons and what have you and the fish or whatever in that particular stream or, or lake have, a, have adjusted. So I think it's really really important that you realize that it's you just don't take things from the from there but at the same token you can definitely learn and see how to arrange your freshwater aquarium and uh, again the reason I'm doing this now I know I usually do my videos during the week is it because uh, it was the first week of school and it was just really busy and I want to do it now it's early in the morning it's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning Eastern time here uh, in South Florida is because as you can see the clouds are already gathering we're gonna have a tropical wave today so that means uh, lots and lots and lots of rain minimal wind thank God but lots of rain so I wanted to get this in and so I wanted to show you the lake and so you show you a couple of things that I that I noted as we look at the lake, this is a whole different perspective of the lake. That the lake actually ends over there, but I live way, 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 way down there. So this is a long and narrow lake, but I've never showed you this area before. A couple things that you should know. I'm not, I'm not condoning anything, but um, I noticed that um, you know, and it's in the news everywhere that the that the climate is getting warmer. And uh, in my case, I, I could definitely see it. You see this uh, sort of like these weeds that are floating on top of here? See these weeds? In my eight and a half years living here, that has never happened. You see, even on the other side there, there are weeds uh, floating. And that, that's Mother Nature trying to protect herself, trying to keep the water cool. So that's something you should notice. And I want you to also notice uh, as I try to blow it up a little bit. You see there the water lilies? water lilies that's something you also may want to consider in order to hide your your babies you see hold on let me blow this up a little bit more to hide your babies so if you if you're doing a freshwater aquarium you may want to get something that either will float to keep the water coolish because of your your led lights which we'll eventually we'll talk about lights and to keep and just to keep the fry your your babies um kind of uh hidden from the adults i mean Zoom this back down but then I want you to notice I'm walking here I'm trying to walk very carefully and not to scare anybody you'll notice right here you remember I did on my archives hornwort which is a very simplistic plant and there you have hornwort live right there that's real stuff and you see you'll also see some fish I'll try to blow it up even a little more without uh, messing this up here you'll see some fish right there. See them there? Those are the little guys. These little guys will eventually grow and move out there and move out there. But I loved, and I wanted to share this with you because I hadn't noticed it until I started walking, um, until I started walking Kali again, how you could really start to see that hornwort uh, here live and in person. And you can see the little baby fish there swimming around feeling comforted and knowing that they will not get eaten so readily. However, as you see on my thumbnail, there are birds that will come by, especially called the anhingas. Anhingas will dive in there and they will they will try to, uh, to eat what's going on in here in the fish because uh, that's what they do. 
so they're doing their best they can to kind of hide out and again i would not take fish from your local pond or stream even though it's adorable and is very tempting to do so um i'm really telling you 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 just don't know what you're going to get let me give you a perfect example right over here people uh, accidentally or on purpose will dump things into a lake or whatever and uh, you don't know what kind of contaminants are in there so again you don't want to do that so these are this is what i'm talking about observing your lake your stream your pond i love that i love how you could really see like genuinely i'm gonna blow it up even a little more how you can genuinely see the hornwort i mean I, that's 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 exactly what i wanted to get on the video and there you have it and it's growing because it's been warmer this the weeds have been growing a little bit more out of control the plants have never been this high uh, so the weather the, oh you see a big old fish right there see if i can catch you see him that's how big these fish get you see she's huge uh, i believe that's a cichlid uh, there's another cichlid coming into the picture right there so these guys do get big uh, so you know don't you so i know people fishing here and all that the reason i don't fish in here and try to catch these is i don't i don't want to hurt the fish unnecessarily because you're just going to do a little catch and release I don't I don't know that's, that's not my style to hurt a fish I'm here to show you how to love the fish and to and to observe watch them well, you see another little guy there swimming along um, it really is fantastic to be able to to catch these things live and in person uh, and I and I didn't think I'd catch a big one but there's a there they there they are they, they're all over they're all over there's another one right there swimming around so really take advantage and enjoy your 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 lakes your streams i wouldn't go fishing unless you're going to eat them because uh you don't want to hurt them unnecessarily and the other thing i wanted to show you is again as you design your aquarium uh notice that there there are plants that kind of hang Oops, let me make this small there are plants that kind of grow out of the water don't be don't be embarrassed to do that check it out see what you got see if you can if you can do that that's gonna be my, actually my next video is to show you that i had to redo my my aquascape my plants because of the intense heat that's going on here uh, i had to literally change my uh I had to change my plants because the plants were just not they were they just weren't growing and uh because of the intense heat i mean and it's always hot here in south florida but more than usual uh it's been really really hot so i wanted i wanted to wow check that check out those let me let me blow this up a little bit more see all the little babies there pretty intense you see all the little babies running around all the little babies they're just they're just everywhere down here. let me let me blow it up a little more I'll blow up a little more uh they're really they they find little spots like this and they will live there and something that i'm going to start hitting on is uh with substrate because once i eventually oh before i lose my train of thought we are going to um, talk about um, the different plants next time that I had to change in my in my aquariums in order to keep up with the heat. So this tropical whatever it is uh, gl gl climate change really is real uh, because you, this has never been the plants have never grown like this. They've never seen anything like this this high. So we're going to talk about that next time and how I had to change my plants and eventually hopefully the next thing we're going to start talking about is uh, my nano tank that has a uh, chili rasboras and you see this rock right here i told you in a previous video year uh, probably a couple of years ago i don't like rocks in a tank but uh apparently i am because i have it in my nano tank in my home office and now i have an, a um, a little betta fish in my um in my new office which i'll eventually get to um so i i'm starting to like rocks and the reason for that is that because it will grow uh bacteria which is beneficial for your for your fish and your aquarium so don't don't uh don't listen to me from before uh rocks are definitely a good thing for your aquarium and here you see it in, in nature uh very very intricately uh you know it's, it's here and you see here the substrate here is not rocks but dirt and you'll hear people say i have a dirted tank and ergo the dirted tank is right here so that's what we got here that's what we got going on in this little area of the lake in a subtropical climate ready for the for the wave uh that is going to take place but i wanted to share that with you because i really want you to pay attention let me bring it back down i really want you to pay attention to your lake your stream and to uh, really enjoy it. This is Louis D. Fresh.